Hey guys, it's me, Drew, and welcome back to my channel. I am in a new location. I am in my living room, so I don't have a ton of furniture in here yet. My couch is coming tomorrow. My furniture is coming next week, so I don't have it all complete yet, so it might sound echoey. I'm going to work on editing in iMovie with lighting because right here I have a bunch of windows and it's natural lighting right now. I ordered custom blinds and those are like with the state of the world back ordered until I can't even tell you when. So, but I got my Teddy Bees order in. This is a giant order. Giant, giant, giant. I have one, two, three, four, five loaves, five souffles, and 12 tubs or potato salad containers as I like to call them. Um, yeah, so anyway, Teddy Bees, this is from her May 20th pre-order. I went a little ham. I was gonna make the list and I'm like, oh my gosh, I'm gonna be so good. I'm gonna really know what I want and limit my order. And then it just got bigger and bigger and bigger and bigger. It's a big order, and I'm not ashamed. I love my wax. I am having a Teddy Bees week. Natalie and I are melting all Teddy Bees. I have PB&J going in here now, and let me tell you guys, chef's kiss. It is incredible. I love it. The scent throw, 10 out of 10. I'm hoping the lasting power is incredible too, but the wax is amazing. I I'm in love with it. So I'm super excited. I'm having the best week with Teddy Bees. I understand that her stuff's hit and miss sometimes, but let me tell you, everything I've melted this week has been a hit. You'll see it in my trash talk video coming up soon. But without further ado, I do want to just share my sample and then we'll get into the haul. Now the lid was at the bottom of the box and this is the sample. So I am going to put this in a poly bag because the lid is like crushed and will not stay on. But I'm so excited I got this as a sample. This is a scent I would have never ordered and it is Tilly and Pip. And the notes are Peach Magnolia, Downy April Fresh, and Pink Chiffon. This is really pretty, you guys. I, laundry scents are one for me. I really need to be in the mood to melt them. They're great, they're clean, they're fresh. I have a ton of laundry blends, but I just don't reach for them. So, I have been looking at her list for when the RTS is. She didn't post the RTS list, but from her this pre-order of scents that I don't think I would ever order. Watching a lot of people's videos, I know I watched Jessica D's video. She's the only one I've seen that's posted this pre-order so far. And her, that cleaning day is definitely on my list. But I ordered a lot of bakery, a lot of sweet, a lot of like warm scents, which is great because it's coming to be fall. Whether you like it or not, Charity, it's beginning to be fall. And with this, this is so clean. I'm really excited. This honestly, I would melt my bedroom. It's sweet though. From the Peach Magnolia, I will totally order a tub of this in the RTS if I can snag it. This is so pretty. I'm definitely going in for the RTS um, with some different scents. Things that I would never normally order because you never know if you like them unless you try them, and Tiffany has some incredible blends. All right, so I have souffles, I have tubs, I have loaves, and without further ado, let's get into it. And with the souffles, I got five souffles, and the first one I got was in Palo Santo and Vanilla Clouds. And this one is Palo Santo, layered with icy vanilla woods and boardwalk marshmallow clouds. And this was poured on July 17th. Now, I will say, I'm ordering these, this one has, is this two? It looks like there's like two souffles where it just got crushed. I'm not gonna pop these souffles out because during this week of melting, I noticed that, oh, it actually popped out pretty easily. Oh, this is really nice. But I will say, I like crush her souffle tins when I go to melt them and her wax is super soft. It's already melting on my hands. But Palo Santo and Vanilla Clouds. This is really, really nice. I ordered Milk of the Poppy last time, which was Palo Santo and Creamy Creamy Vanilla, and it's good. It's not my absolute favorite, though. I kind of like this better, because the Vanilla Clouds, which is like the Vanilla Woods and the Boardwalk Marshmallow Clouds, it just makes it really, really sweet and really, really creamy vanilla. So I really, really am liking that one. 
That one's good. Yeah, and I also don't like to take them out of the bags because then it gets all gross and nasty. So really like that one. Excited for it. All right, this next one, you're gonna laugh. So when Lexi, Two Quick Wicks, posts her video, I made her order a scent that she totally would not be up her alley, and she made me order this, which is totally not in my alley, because I think it's fun to do a unicorn or a wild card in orders, especially when I'm placing this big order. What's another, like, $6 for a souffle to try a scent that might not be in my wheelhouse, but I might end up loving it. So, Lexi picked for me Hot Tropic, and this is a fruity summer beverage consisting of juicy orange, cherry, that's where she gets me, grapefruit, peaches, strawberry, lemon zest, and bubbly soda. I just have this thing where, like, when you blend so many fruits together, how, like, can it not just smell like a fruit salad? Okay. I'm definitely getting the cherry. Definitely. I feel like I'm getting the cherry and the grapefruit, first and foremost. And maybe, because I don't like cherry, I'm getting the cherry mostly. It's a tad citrusy and fizzy, but for the most part, I'm definitely getting, like, cherry and grapefruit. Mmm, definitely not a favorite, but I knew it probably wouldn't be because of that cherry note. But I still wanted to give it a try, so thank you, Lexi, for making me get that one. Next, we have Rain and Woods. Now, this one has been talked about so much, but it definitely made me a little nervous, so I just ordered a souffle. And this is fir needles, smoked woods, marshmallow fireside, cedarwood, sandalwood, and minty snow. Now, I will say, one thing about Teddy Bee's that I've noticed is her scents definitely come alive on warm after melting for this week. And her fresh scents, she does really well. She can blend the wax, you guys. Interesting. Okay. I'm definitely getting smoky. Now, fur needles also scared me because I don't know if you guys are like this. Christmas scents are just not for me. Like, I like the idea of Christmas tree scents and peppermint scents and that, but I can melt Christmas scents for maybe two weeks, maybe three weeks, and I'm over it. Like, I'm done. I don't want Christmas scents anymore. I want bakery. I want fresh. I don't want... I don't want... Christmas tree. I just get really sick of them, so I don't have a ton of Christmas in my collection. And seeing the fur needles, I'm like, uh, but this is really interesting. I'm getting a very, very heavy masculine men's cologne out of this. It kind of reminds me, if you're familiar with Yankee Candle, she had a scent called Treehouse Memories. Or she did. They had a scent called Treehouse Memories, and it smelled like my grandfather's aftershave. I don't know what it is, but it's a very old-school aftershave, and it's like a very deep, dark, almost peppery aftershave. That's what this is giving me with that, like, green Christmas tree. It's very interesting. Definitely masculine. Definitely leaning more towards masculine than I thought. I thought it would be more like, um more like woodsy rainy, because of the name, obviously, Rain and Woods, but the Riverlands is definitely a hit for me. I can't believe I didn't order any in here. I do have a souffle and a um, loaf of it, but I think I might go back in for this RTS for some more Riverlands, because that was amazing. All right, the next one is The Dornishman's Wife. Now, this is a very fascinating to me. This is Palo Santo, Blackberry, Marshmallow Fireside, with the slightest hint of lemon. It's the hint of lemon that really, really fascinated me. This one's like almost coming out, so I'm just gonna pop it out. Wow. That's very strange. I, I can pick up on the lemon. I get blackberry lemon, like a, like a, a rich, deep, fruity blackberry lemonade, but definitely a lemonade that you ordered from like 
a fancier restaurant and it's like homemade blackberry syrup and stuff, but it's very blackberry forward. The lemon is just in there a little bit, so it's definitely like a blackberry forward lemonade. And then you do get that roasty, toasty, smoky Palo Santo paired with the marshmallow fire set. This is really interesting. Really interesting. I like this. It's nothing like I thought it would be at all. Totally different. Totally, totally different. Interesting. All right. There's definitely going to be some considerations for this. Uh, RTS. Next is the Three-Eyed Raven, and this is Palo Santo Sweet Lavender Vanilla Birch and Marshmallow Fireside. Now, I'm curious on this one because the Vanilla Birch, yeah, I am just popping these out. I don't love this. I don't know if it's the Sweet Lavender mixed with the Vanilla Birch, but I'm kind of getting like a plasticky note. Kind of like the plastic that a clamshell has. Now, don't hate me, Lacey Morrison Blue. I know you love Khaleesi. I haven't melted it yet. I'm going to melt it. I don't get much from it in the bag either. And I feel like I don't get much from this either in the bag. It's almost like those two, I definitely need the reserve judgment until I melt it because trucks. I also am not getting much from this on full. That's okay. It's okay because I'm sure it's going to come out more, but right now it's not super, super strong. So I'm going to reserve judgment on that until I melt it, just like with Khaleesi because everybody loves Khaleesi. All right, next. Potato salad. For those of you who watch my channel, you know I love calling these potato salad containers because I think it's funny. And calling something, saying this looks like a potato salad container is no different than saying that the Sassy Girl Aroma Squeeze Me Melts look like blood bags. But because I said it, people get offended. I don't really care. I take jokes. I think they're hilarious. Clearly, I love them because I have 12 of them here. They're easy to store. Love them etc. We'll continue to buy them. It's honestly my favorite form from Teddy D's are the tubs, aka potato salads. Um, yeah, love. So the first one we have up is banana spice. If you know me, I love me a banana scent. And this is vanilla pound cake, banana, caramel, cinnamon, and vanilla buttercream. Yum. Love banana. I'm not going to pop these out because I watched Jessica D's video and they literally went everywhere. Um, okay. I'm going to pause the video and add two of these to my RTS list. This smells like banana sauster, which I always say is my favorite dessert. It doesn't get offered nearly enough in restaurants unless you go to like a very high-end restaurant. Do you see banana sauster? offered. This is heavenly. Heavenly, heavenly, heavenly. It smells like flambéed bananas with caramel. It is so good. Oh my god, I could drink this. I really, when it said banana spice, I wasn't sure what I was getting. You do not get the cinnamon. Natalie, I know you're not the hugest banana fan, but you love bakery. You would love this. At least get a souffle in this, please. This is so good. Wow. If this is already, if this is already starting off like this, I'm going to be in trouble. That is amazing. That literally smells like banana sauster. So happy. Hands down, probably before I melted it, the best banana bakery I've ever smelled. Just saying. Next, we have Cheesecake and Cookies Blackberry Jam. I thought this was, oh, Cheesecake Cookies plus Blackberry Jam, so it's layered. And this one is Sugar Cookies, Creamy Cheesecake, Graham Crackers, Marshmallow Cream, and a hint of Sweet Spice layered with Sweet Blackberry Jam. Okay, I'm gonna have to pop this one out, unfortunately, because it is layered. Here we go. Just be careful with it. Oh. 
there goes a little piece of wax. Oh man. Oh yeah, this is good. Wow, okay. I have my thoughts. I'm putting it back in the container so I don't. Uh, see, that's the only thing about these containers that I don't love is they're kind of hard to sniff because the wax goes everywhere. All right. Typically, when you smell cheesecake scents, they can sometimes come across super, super sour. This does not. The cheesecake in here is truly like a creamed cheesecake with a rich graham cracker. And I've been obsessed with blackberry jam lately. When blackberry jam butter cookie like goes into a warmer, it just smells so good. Blackberry anything, sign me up. I'm obsessed with it lately. And this is no exception. This is so good. I'm gonna have to really control myself on what I don't need and what I need for the next RTS. Oh, this is gonna be dangerous. All right, next, Tiff's favorite coffee. Sweet cream, bakery dough, a rich espresso, sugar and spice topped with frothy milk. I mainly order this because of the espresso note. I live for espresso. This is really good. This, this definitely reminds me of other vendors' coffee. But well, well, well done. Like, this smells like a very, very rich, rich latte with no, I, it doesn't, it does say sweet cream, but I would say there's no like 10 pumps of vanilla, two pumps of brown sugar, no. This smells like a very rich cup of coffee or a cup of espresso, and the cream and the frothy milk are what's giving it that sweetness, that's it. No artificial flavors, no artificial sweeteners, anything like that. You're only getting the natural sweetness from the cream and the milk. That's decadent. That is the coffee that I love because you truly smell the coffee. That's incredible. Oh. All right, this one, Crispy Dream. I was very excited for this one too. I was very excited for all of these. Let's face it, that's why I ordered them. Crispy Dream, warm donuts, no, warm powdered donuts, cinnamon sugar donuts, old fashioned cake donuts, burnt sugar and toasty campfire donuts. The only thing that scares me on this one is the burnt sugar because I did not like that um, creme brulee one she had last time. Do it more. It's giving me that doing more. It's her burnt sugar. Yeah. Okay. Again, reserving judgment because I did not like doing more on cold. I did not warm it. So I can't speak for if that plasticky note goes away. But it's that same plasticky note that I got from that. And they both have the burnt sugar in there. Yeah. That's all I'm getting. I'm getting like a sweet... I'm getting like a sugary donut, but it's very heavy, very heavy on the cinnamony or on that that burnt sugar note that's just not right to me. I don't know what that is. So, not sold on that one. I can't be sold on them all. And honestly, I'm hoping I'm not sold on all of them because I don't have... I don't have a budget that can just order every single thing. One of every, I wish I did. Next is Michael. And this is vanilla birch, mahogany vanilla, and smooth marshmallow cream. Now this, I'm hoping I like, but I'm hoping I don't like love that I need more of because I think this is a perfect, like sexy man's bedroom scent. Totally what I picture because vanilla birch, great candle. Mahogany vanilla, an amazing candle. I actually have it over here on one of my end tables, you can't see it, but Mahogany Vanilla is such a good candle from Back From Body Ricks this year. And then Sweet Marshmallow Cream. It, you know what? It's exactly what I was hoping it would be. And I don't, I don't necessarily need more because I think this is a type of scent that I crave every once in a blue moon. But it's really good. It's very masculine. You pick up on that mahogany vanilla, which is like mahogany teakwood, but way toned down. And the glitter on this is beautiful, you guys. It's like perfect. 
Yeah, it is just like I thought. It's very creamed mahogany teakwood with smooth and smoky. Oh, that's really nice. This is the perfect amount though that I'll need for my bedroom. This is definitely one that I'll keep in like my side table drawer and only melt every once in a while. Really good scent. All right, next, this looks like Christmas, and it is, and this is Christmas Trees and Cream and Apple Cider Donuts. Now, I have a scent from her from a couple of years ago, which is Christmas Trees and Cream and Warm Apple Cider, which is over the river, or over the hill and through the woods, I think it's called. So I was like, well, what's really the difference? This is Apple Cider Donuts, that's Warm Apple Cider. I should have brought it from my candle room to compare, but I didn't. Fresh pine boughs, vanilla sugar waffle cone, and rich vanilla buttercream, layered with orchard apples, a hint of cinnamon caramel, and a rich cake donut. So this is one I will probably have to pop out too. Christmas trees and cream for me, I really enjoy. I have a loaf of it, I haven't melted yet. Yeah, this is Christmas trees and cream. I don't find it extremely strong on the apple cider, or on the um, balsam though, which isn't bad for me. Okay guys, come on, pop out. Okay. Oh, that's... <sighs> that apple cider donuts, and this is so pretty on the bottom, it looks like a watermelon, doesn't it? Oh my gosh. Okay. The apple cider donuts is very, it doesn't smell anything like the apple cider donut scents I'm used to. And don't get me wrong, I love, I'm just getting like all little crumbs in. I love a good rich apple cider donut scent, but to me, the apple cider donut here is really apple forward, like real like Macintosh forward, which I'm not complaining at all. I love that. I love that it's a rich crisp red apple with the donut. Mixed with Christmas trees and cream, really, if you don't like Christmas tree scents like I don't, Christmas trees and cream is going to be your perfect holiday fragrance because it's barely balsam or fresh pine boughs, barely pine where you can melt it and not be like, oh, this is a Christmas tree scent. It is perfect. I, I love the way that they blend together, so really impressed with this one. That's going to be perfect for Christmas. All right. Six down, six to go. Kind of bad, kind of bougie. Love this name. This is strawberry pound cake, warm vanilla sugar, and vanilla sugar cookies. I feel like warm vanilla sugar is like getting a comeback of being everybody's favorite and making scent, I can literally smell from here, making scent blends just elevate. And it's so good because warm vanilla sugar is so simple. I don't want to say basic, but it is super like basic. But when you melt them, oh, it's so good. Uh-huh. This is good. This is strawberry pound cake, warm vanilla sugar. But again, that warm vanilla sugar just adds sophistication and richness. And now, it makes me curious, squeeze a little strawberry pound cake and a little warm vanilla sugar on your loofah, and you got it. It's an interesting combo. And Natalie and I were talking today and it's true. Everybody knocks Bath and Body Works all the time. Oh, Bath and Body Works this, Bath and Body Works this. 90% of the vendor oils and things that we love are Bath and Body Works dupes. They're doing something right, right? Yeah, this is amazing. Wow, okay. But it's amazing. I don't need more. I like it though. Strawberry pound cake, warm vanilla sugar, and vanilla sugar cookies. Kind of bad, kind of bougie. Speaking of strawberry pound cake, witches be crazy for strawberry pound cake. And this is witches be crazy, which is birthday cake, pecan waffles, sugar cookie dough, and a pinch of cinnamon spice vanilla and strawberry pound cake type. So this is basically now. This is very similar to the Queen's Dowry, which is pumpkin pecan waffles and strawberry pound cake. This is just a little bit creamier because I find that Witches Be Crazy is a very, very creamed down version of pumpkin pecan waffles, but I love it. Because with Tiffany, I find that you can really smell her birthday cake 
which I love, and like her sugar cookies in blends, where a lot of other vendors, it kind of just smells like a more watered down version or a, like a creamed up version of it, where I find that with Tiffany's scents, you can truly smell the layers in it. And this is, this, this is like, which is be crazy smells like a pumpkin, like a pecan filled cake. Like if you made this delicious, rich, moist cake, and in the layers, you did like a pecan buttercream. That's kind of what hers smells like to me. Mixed with that strawberry pound cake. Oh, now that's delectable. That is delectable. And I'm so happy I'm doing a Teddy Bees week now because these scents are just out of this world. I don't hate any of these. Witches Be Crazy for Palo Santo. And I think the other one that was offered was Witches Be Crazy for Zucchini Bread. I didn't pick that one up. And this is, again, Witches Be Crazy, which is birthday cake, pecan waffle, sugar cookie dough, and a pinch of cinnamon spice vanilla, blended with Palo Santo. And you smell that. Now, it's amazing how when you have Witches Be Crazy here and you blend it with a bakery, it becomes even more rich and more decadent bakery, where here you have it mixed with a Palo Santo, it makes it a little bit more smooth and more warm. And I kind of feel like if like Restoration Hardware or Pottery Barn or anything like that, if they marketed this as one of their candles, it would sell really well because it doesn't smell necessarily like bakery. Like this smells like a cake with delicious frosting and strawberries. This smells like a very, very high end, creamy, woodsy scent. <sighs> That's really good. I would totally order backup tubs and both of those. That's really good. All right, I'm going into this one with not the best high, not the highest expectations. I want to love it, but I saw Jessica's video, and it's kind of what I predicted it might smell like: strawberry lover's dream, fresh strawberries, sugar cookies, strawberry frosting, and moist cake. Is it gonna smell plasticky? Oh yeah. I don't like this. Okay, one I didn't like. It kind of le it kind of leans. It's almost like that sugar cookie. I'm gonna pop this one out. It almost is like that sugar cookie is making it burnt. Yeah. Mm. Mm -mm. Nope. I'm not gonna get rid of this or destash it or anything. I will melt this after some pure time. Like this, I'm probably, no joke, this was for June 24th. This I'm probably gonna save for summer next year because it'll have a good amount of cure time and it'll sit and develop and we'll see. So not a huge fan of the Strawberry Lover's Dream. I would not order more of that. Next, we have Silent Night and this is Palo Santo Signature Sugar Cookies, which is her circus cookies, I believe. She changed her, sugar or her circus cookies to Signature Sugar Cookie and Beach Treats, which is her Beach Nights, which is one of the best Beach Nights. I like this. It smells a lot like Escobar, which I knew it would because Escobar is Palo Santo Beach Treats. So this is just added sugar cookie. And see where I said earlier, you can detect like her like blender oils more than other vendors. I feel like because Beach Treats and Palo are blenders a lot of the times in other scents, this kind of just smells like a very creamy Escobar or Beach Nights. So I like this. This will be a very nice bedroom scent because it is very creamy and very calming. And you get the sweet, little oceanic, delicious um, beach nights. Yeah, I really like this though. I really like this. Now this one, I'm hoping I love it because I want to order more without even smelling it because I've been obsessed with scents like this lately. And this is Jamboree, 
Wildberry Jam Donut, which is a Bath & Butterworks candle. I love that scent. Fresh Baked Bread. You know me and my Fresh Baked Bread scents lately. And a hint of sugar and spice. It's good. I'm not getting a ton of Fresh Baked Bread. A lot of scents that have bread in them and I smell them, the bread is like there. It smells like fresh baked bread. But I almost find that with this, I'm getting more Wildberry Jam Donut and Sugar and Spice. I'm not getting much fresh baked bread. But okay, I really like it. It's not what I was expecting because I was expecting more fresh baked bread. However, I kind of feel like I'm going to order another tub of this anyway because I feel like with her scents, when you melt them, they come alive and the bread will come out. I'll love it. And I didn't order more. But if it doesn't, I'm still very satisfied with the blend itself, just how it is. So that's going to be a question mark on my list. All right, guys. Now let's get to the lows. I have... This is new, this is returning, this is new, this is returning. All right, let's do the two that I ordered in bigger sizes from the last order. Milk and cookies. You guys, I didn't think I would like this at all. I was like, what is the hype about milk and cookies? It sounds like the most basic scent. Creamy vanilla, powdered sugar, sweet milk, and buttery cookie dough? No, it is. I didn't even melt. I didn't even melt my tub yet because I wanted more, and I did not melt it until I get this. This is so good. This is the epitome of the best cookie bakery scent I've ever smelled. There's nothing more. It smells like a glass of milk and rich cookies, and that's it. Not chocolate cookies. Not oatmeal cookies. No, like just sugary cookies with creamy milk, and the milk is not sour. <sighs> it's so good. I might order a loaf of this. Another loaf of this. I, I love this. I love this. So happy I got more, but not as happy, almost as happy as I am about this. Satsumas and linen. You guys, I fell in love with this scent when I ordered this. Satsuma, mandarins, bergamot, exotic fruits, and fresh linen. This, yep, ah, this is a scent where neither Satsuma, which is very strong and takes over a lot of blends to begin with, or linen, which is strong and typically takes over a lot of blends, mix to the best, fresh, clean. You put brand new sheets on your bed, your pillows are fluffed, your windows are open, and you light a candle, this is the vibe it gives. Like, I picture somebody in California who lit, or in, Cal yeah, in California, who lives by an orange tree, and they open up the windows, and the linens are blowing, and the orange tree, oranges are falling off the tree. Yeah. I this is magic, and I did not think Satsuma and linen could become magic. They're magic. And I need to not talk about it anymore because you guys are all going to order it from the free, from the RTS. And then milk and cookies and Satsumas and linen are going to sell out like instantly and I didn't get back up loaves of them. I'm getting back up loaves of both of these. Right, moving on to my three brand new sets. I heart vanilla Palo Santo. I heart, I heart vanilla. Um, the first one I had was I heart vanilla spiced apples. Fell in love. I hope she offers that on the next pre-order list because I'm going to go ham. Um, I Heart Vanilla Blackberry. I know she had I Heart Vanilla Beach Treats in this last one. I did not order that because I ordered the Beach Tree Silent Night. So I did not order that. But this is I Heart Vanilla, which is creamy marshmallow, vanilla milkshake, marshmallows, and magnolias blended with warm Palo Santo. I love Palo and I love I Heart Vanilla. And I love this. This is so good. It really 
smells like a vanilla milkshake. And then mixed with that palo, it is so yummy. Tiffany, I just, I really can't get over her blends. And I honestly don't mind the long turnaround time. This is my third pre-order with her, and it will never be the last. I'm going to always order from her pre-orders because she just has some of the best. The blend of that High Heart Vanilla with that Palo Santo. This is like a love letter to Teddy Bees. I mean, I am like sitting here looking at this. I cannot get over how great these blends are and how incredible in this new apartment everything is throwing for me. Like, I'm getting such a good luck. I'm getting, I'm having such good luck with her stuff in this apartment. And now she's like in my top five vendors. Oh yeah. That's delish. If you love Palo, like warm, creamy Palo, and you love her iHeart Vanilla, try this, because this is just a souped up version of iHeart Vanilla. All right, now these two. I knew I had to get in loads. These are brand new blends this year. This one is Waffle Bakery. No, Waffle Bomb. Berry Waffle Cone, Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, Funnel Cake, and Powdered Sugar. Hello. I love Berry Waffle Cone, and I don't really see it offered a ton in blends. Can I have a minute? This is really good. Berry Waffle Cone is a scent. You can't say you haven't tried it, and you can't say you don't like it if you haven't tried it, because there's magic to Berry Waffle Cone. It is like the best blackberry heavy ice cream in a waffle cone and the waffle cone starting to drip and you know how the bottom of your like waffle cone has a little bit of like that melted ice cream you just take that last bite and it all just like the flavors explode in your mouth that's what berry waffle cone gives me and like that to me is summer like berry waffle cone summer boardwalk i love heavy i love rich i love decadent scents so those type of scents or what I go for when it comes to those type of, like when it comes to that, is those rich, that decadent. I don't want fruity tropical for summer. I want rich and warm and summer treat. Mixed with pumpkin pecan waffles and funnel cake. Powder sugar, yeah, that's nice. That's just a dusting of sweetness, but yeah. Blended with pumpkin pecan waffles, two very decadent, rich bakery scents. If you don't love heavy bakery, don't buy Waffle Bomb. But if you love bakery, if you love Berry Waffle Cone, <laughs> Natalie, if you love Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, <coughs> Charity and Natalie, you have to try this, hands down. And then last but not least, Tiff's Twisted Sunday. Cupcakes at Tiffany's, Pumpkin Pecan Waffles, Pretzels, and Vanilla Ice Cream. I ordered this because of the pretzels. Wow. You can smell the pretzel in here too. You absolutely can smell the pretzel. And that is so, that's just amazing. You get that pumpkin pecan waffles again. You get that, that decadent, delicious bakery that I just fell in love with. And you get the pretzel. It is a very doughy, a very yeasty pretzel, but you pick up the pretzel. Cupcakes at Tiffany's, I know Alexis, don't come for me. T Cupcakes at Tiffany's is just not one that I crave. And if it's in a blend, cool. If it's not, cool. So that and vanilla ice cream really don't do much for me, but it's the pumpkin pecan waffles blended with the pretzel for me. That is so good. And these will be perfect. Like, this Tiff's Twisted Sunday and this Waffle Bomb are totally just getting stored for next summer because I know I would love both of these. And Tiffany, if you're watching, not sure if you're going to watch or not, this bag that you put Tiff's Twisted Sunday and Satsumas and Linen are like super, super thick. 
where the other ones are really thin. These super thick bags, I don't even care if it costs more. I will pay more. I love these super, super thick bags. Or tell us where you get these from because I would totally buy these bags and double bag of these in here. The texture is great. I love how thick and they just seal really nice. I love these bags. All right, guys. I'm gonna go and inventory this wax. Enjoy PB&J in this room because it is so good. Tiffany, Desi, who's an incredible admin for her. Teddy Bees is so good. And I'm not just saying that because I didn't get these for free. I paid 100% my own money. I'll be honest, this was $300 after shipping and tax. I'm not ashamed to say it. I spend money on wax. It's my hobby and I love it. I'm not ashamed of it. I'm gonna get so much enjoyment out of these scents, I'm not mad. So let me know what you guys got from this Teddy Bees pre-order. Is there something you got that I did not that I need to add to my list? Because your boy is going in for the RTS. It's Hunger Games and I am ready for it. With that being said, let me know again. Thank you so much for watching. Don't forget to subscribe, hit that notification bell, that way you're alerted every time I upload here on YouTube. I'm almost to 11,000 subscribers, I'm 10,530 I believe. So once I hit 11,000, I'm making a basket of some of my favorite things. Once I hit that, 11,000 subscribers is going to you guys. Make it a better world, be kind to one another. I love you all so much and you matter.